The third tool that we have at our disposal in the 2D LiDAR tool is our headings view. Again, you could just go over to the left panel here and then click on the third option. And here you'll see um, the headings view. You could scroll out by using your mouse wheel. And you could also scroll in by using your middle mouse wheel. And if you hold down control, you can click and drag to navigate around this view. The main use of the headings tool is to understand the overall pathway of the object. Um, also, how does the heading uh, correspond to the other frames uh, that the object's annotated in? For example, does each frame lead to the next, or is the heading not match up correctly? Um, you could also get an understanding of the smoothness and the shape of a pathway. And you just get a better understanding of what the object is doing, at least on a larger scale, uh, compared to grid view. These dots here represent the center of the cuboid in the frame. So it's the direct center of the car. And if we go to the frame that we were on, you'll see this white line. What this white line represents is where is the heading pointing to in this frame. In this frame here, we could see that the heading is pointing directly to the next frames. If we go to the frames before, maybe around here, where you see that the heading is a little bit more wobbly, you'll see that the heading might not be pointing directly at it. Again, this isn't right or wrong. It really depends on what the object is doing. If an object is swerving left and right, then the heading is not always going to lead to the center of the next frames. Um, again, we'll go over this more in depth, but this is just an overview on the headings tool. Um, do note that while you have the headings tool open, you are also going to be able to use um, a portion of your side panel, your project view here. You could see uh, the LiDAR points along with the frame that you're currently selected on in the headings tool. Additionally, you could also make adjustments to the heading by clicking and dragging this bar here, and you can see it reflected in the side panel as well. Finally, you could also see the yaw here, the headings view, just like you normally would see it in the coordinates panel down here.